everyone welcome to my video today in this video we are going to build, build this part let's start together and step by step build the part and I open a new part on the white plane I will create a sketch firstly I'm placing a line and then again one line this too will be a construction geometry and then we say this is 45 length this is 105 in total will be 150 after the decoration we go up and we creep up a point arc option we place here one arc and one arc at the other side and then now we press our control button on our keyboard and say this too will be tangent while it's pressed the last operation will be giving our radius value here which is 45 this is sketch one and from top plane we will go create a second sketch and i click on my plane and i open it sketch tab and i look normal too First, it is good to place here one length line again, and here one another, and then we can press our space again, look from normal, and then mm, we pick a spline here, we finish it, we can a little bit play with the angles and another spline will be starting from here to here and I close here with a spline a line again let's give our length here length 8 here length is 4 and after this operation we will be play with the spline with control points first we press our control and say here this spline here will be starting tangent if you don't want to do that you can place a angle here you can say 90 and then the tangency value here 50 after this operation these two will be tangent and we create a 30 degree this will be 90 and this will be 55 these are tangency values dimensions uh, those units and here we have a 100 degree and here a tangency value of 100 as you see everything is black when we finalize this we are going to make a mirror first these two objects will be mirrored in this line construction geometry once we are done with that we create our uh, most of part in fact after this operation we go project curve this project curve will combine these two 2d object into a 3d uh, line in fact we create here a 3d line that's the idea of it after this operation we go front plane we say one at five millimeter i show my plane here one at 22 millimeter and we click again that we say at five and we say one at fifty. Of course, the last one will be at the end. We just pick a point here with a reference plane. These are our sections, and let's start from behind. 
we click here with uh, uh, here and then we create a sketch there and I'm just placing here one arc on my screen as you see in this plane I will not look normal too, because behind is very crowded I will just control press my control pick my 3d line in fact it's a curve and here again while my control pressed I select two objects and my red relations menus pop up and we say here peers the radius here is 25 after this operation we can hide this plane at plane 4 we will have one more as you see and what we were doing we press our control while it's pressed select two objects our control is pressed select two objects say peers and here I'm going to give radius value of 20 this also can be hideable now here we are going to do the same in fact here it was the other way around sorry giving relations and giving relations this five uh, sorry of course this 20 operation is done we can hide planes and at the other plane there will be one more We can hide this one. We are at the last operation. Click on plane, create a sketch, and then here we place in an arc. Same operations. Everything what we are doing here almost same. Here radius value is 22. After this operation is done, we can just hide this uh, plane also. When you look, we got something like this. After this operation, we go fill surface. First this and second this. These are two boundaries. Don't look that it's looking like crazy. But now we are going to come to constraint curves. And by selecting these ones, the model will correct itself. And when this is done, our model is also almost done. We can hide our curves. If you don't want to see these uh, helping objects, you can make a right click on them and add a new folder. Actually, uh, objects, I am saying. And after this operation, we make a token from middle option 0 0.75 and this is looking good and then let's place two radius here by clicking our edges yes and then final radius 0 0.75 in fact clicking to a surface field uh, same thing for us instead of choosing the edge. Uh, mold is finalized now. I hope you can also follow these steps. Let, uh, let's give you some colors from appearances metal and you can say chromium plate. And then we have got a really shiny, nice spoon. It was a nice. Uh, surface example i believe with a lot of axillary objects like uh, uh, planes and 
uh, using project curve option if you like my video please make a comment and hit the like uh, button if you want to see much more advanced videos please do visit my channel see you in next video